Ezekiel said, in that day, I will cleanse you. I will sanctify you. I will wash you with water. Come on, amen. I will wash you with water. Now, the Bible says that Christ loved the church and gave, gave himself for the church and showed us how he did it. He said that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Go back to Ezekiel, Ezekiel 36, 26, 25, Ezekiel 25. It says, 25, it says, Then I will sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness, from all your idols will I cleanse you. In Ephesians, this prophecy fulfilled. He loved us, and now he's cleansed us by the washing of the word, of water by the word. Come on, praise God. You know, he's cleansed us. He's cleansed us. He's done it. Let's look at 1 John chapter 5. Say, I love God's word. Oh, I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Ephesians chapter, um, 1 John, chapter number 5. Want to get the right verse? Verse, verse 7. Oh, back up and let's read verse 6. Oh, let's read from verse 5. <laughs> Who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. Glory to God. Is that person in this room today? Who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. Then he tells you why. Next. This is he that came by water and blood. Praise God. Jesus Christ, even Jesus Christ, not by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the Spirit that beareth witness, because the Spirit is truth. Oh, praise God. Look at this. He says, This is he that cometh by water and blood. This is he that cometh by water. I will sprinkle you with clean water. I will sprinkle you with clean water. Remember Jesus met that woman by the well and said, woman, give me some water to drink. He said, ha, ah, who are you? You are a Jew. I'm a Samaritan. We don't have nothing to do. Jesus said, if you knew who was talking to you, if you knew who was talking to you, he said you would have asked him and he would have given you water. The water that if any man drinks, he will never thirst again. He will never thirst again. He says, there is a one who came by water, but not just by water alone. He came by water and the word. You know, one time, Jesus, Jesus um, came and he got the disciples together and he took, some, he took a bowl, he knelt down before them and he started washing their feet. You know, while he was washing their feet, he washed Matthew's feet, he washed John, James. When he got to Peter, Peter said, oh, no, 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 no. Peter said, Lord, not just my feet, I want you to wash my whole body. Because Jesus has told him, he said, if I do not wash your feet, he says, you are none of mine. You are none of mine. Because, look at this, Peter said, I, I, you shouldn't be washing my feet, I should be doing it. Jesus said, no, I am the one to do it. I am the one to do it. And he said, if I don't do it, you are not mine. Peter said, feet? He said, please, don't wash the feet. Wash my whole body. Then Jesus said something. Jesus said, no, I do not need to wash your whole body. Because he said, because you are clean. You are clean by the water and the washing of my words. He said, when I spoke my words to you, you cleaned up. So, so he says, you, are, you have already been sprinkled. You are already clean. You are already sanctified. He says, all you just need is your feet. You need your daily walk to be washed by the word. But you yourself, you are already cleansed. 
Come on, amen. So you look at that scripture, that prophecy for Ezekiel. You know, somebody, I, I told you when you read the Old Testament, read it with the glasses of the New Testament. But for you to be able to read the Old Testament with the glasses of the New Testament, you have to understand what the New Testament is and you have to understand the spirit of the New Testament. If you don't understand it and you read Ezekiel, Ezekiel, and he says, look at that, get that scripture. Ezekiel, please. Ezekiel 25 now, 36, 25. He says, then I will sprinkle you with clean uh, then will I sprinkle clean water upon you and ye shall be clean a person who doesn't understand this mystery will start praying oh God sprinkle me with clean water oh God sprinkle me with clean water then some people will go ahead then they will go the pastor will get some water and say now all of you come here arrange yourself and say now oh Lord may you sprinkle your children with clean water then he starts pouring water and pouring water and pouring water but praise be to God there is he who came not by water alone but by the blood so now I am in Christ I'm already in the sprinkled I'm already cleansed by the word I'm already cleansed